Defense from Rossick, but that is the key. Seamal's got to get to the rim. They've got to get some stuff downhill. That one won't go down, but a good follow inside. Lauren Jensen. Jamie Horan, number 12, into the game for Creighton from straight away and right on cue, knocks down the three. What we can't do is, is turn it over to create easy layups and transition for Creighton. Horan on the low block to a cutting Rancic to the left hand and off the window and in Emma Rancic the leading scorer on this Creighton team away with it can't finish the shot and here comes Molly back for the Blue Jays straight away knocking it down Lauren Jensen 20 to 15 Lauren Jensen giving it up for Rancic Jensen, shot clock, under 10, strong move inside. Paul's hanging in there, right? They, they are. They've got to get some stops, and they've got to continue to be able to put some points on the board on the other end. Here. Break, strong move along the bay, but she cannot finish. Here comes Morganson. Morganson, Jensen, break, Miller, and Townsend. On the floor, Jensen cannot get it to go. Molly, mid-range, beautiful mid-range. Both teams have suddenly gone a little bit cold, but it's Jensen who comes away with it for the Blue Jays. Nothing but nylon right there for Molly Mogan. Miller can't finish, but they get another chance. Oh, and this one will go down, and so the drought finally ends. He did, you know, it's just an interesting scenario, but yet St. Paul beat Georgetown head-to-head -head both times in the regular season. It gets tricky, but they just want to get the win. I will say tournament time is awfully fun. But the march upon us here, there's Molly spinning little 10-footer. That's where she's her most dangerous career at Marist. But I always like the shooter. The, this is a shooter's gym for sure. the penetration so Jamie Horan it's an 8-0 run now Jensen giving it up for Molly Kennedy Townsend into the game now for the Blue Jays Ronsick with the shot clock under 10 skip pass cross court Molly that is clear right there Morgan Molly part of an 11-0 run now for the Molly Mogensen giving it up for Morgan Molly. Shot clock at five. Right corner. Molly Mogensen, man, Creek needed that right. Tony Bazella wants. Now a real quick one with no one else really touching the ball. Ronsick giving it up. And now Molly. She's got one on one coverage against Catalan. Yeah. Good jump down inside, and Mallory Brake finishing off a beautiful feed there. Every time down the floor, she's got the physicality and the ability. Right back the other way, Molly Morganson. Not a lot of margin for error. You don't want to turn it over and give Creighton extra possessions. Morganson giving it back to Horan, and Horan buries a big three for the Blue Chat travel there. She really was just getting the possession. Creighton breaks the press. Jamie, Hurst. this is the freshman Catalan. You see, that's the game there, free throws. Yes. Catalan off the two-man game. Can't finish inside. Ronsick holds her ground right there. Did not get the call Catalan was looking for. Yeah, really good defense there from Ron. Pushing away the defender, Townsend, as the clock is about to strike zero, and that's it. 72-65. Creighton gets the win here over Seton Hall, and so for Julianne Viani Brain and our entire FS1 college basketball production crew, this is Gary Apple thanking you for watching women's Big East basketball here on FS1.